Hello everyone, I'm Inal, general partner at Ton Ventures, and in this video I want to highlight different mechanics related to competitions and leaderboards on Telegram. As you all know, leaderboards are a part of good game design in general and game progression. So if you build a game, usually you always have something related to leaderboards. So this rule works also for games on Telegram. It works even better than for other games because Telegram is a social platform. So people want to compete with others and show that there are leaders in the leaderboard. So think of leaderboards as a very good retention mechanic for your game, which was implemented in many successful games on Telegram, like Notcoin, Hamster Combat, um, etc. Actually, what is important about leaderboards to uh, remember, they work really good for small groups. There are small groups on Telegram where friends just play with each other, compete with each other, and try to show that they are better than their friends. So small groups and leaderboards for small groups is a very good mechanic for your game. There was an old platform called Telegram Games where leaderboard was implemented on the native level, on the Telegram API level. For the new platform called Telegram Mini Apps, there is no native API for leaderboards. So you have to think about it yourself. We do not recommend to use Telegram Games platform. We recommend to use Telegram Mini Apps for uh, your future game, but you still can implement leaderboard on your end. For example, a game called GeoMapper implemented leaderboard on their own bot. So you can think of implementing leaderboard using bots on Telegram and it will help you to increase retention. Also, you can have a leaderboard inside the mini app itself as Notcoin and Hamster and other very successful games implemented. So think of leaderboards as a retention mechanic and use mini apps, not a games platform. What is also important, it is about competitions. Users, some players want to be able to create their own custom tournaments even. For example, a game called Phantom, it's a fantasy football uh, game on Telegram, implemented like a feature called custom tournaments where every user was able to start a tournament, invite their friends and play against them. This is like really thing, a really interesting thing for many game developers and many games. But to be honest, we do not have many successful cases. Probably Phantom is the only game which got like good numbers from uh, custom tournaments. But still, I think there is a like, huge space for experiments here and you can implement custom tournaments and it can be definitely successful in some cases. So try it, think of how exactly you should implement it in your game and uh, let us know if you succeed with that.